think they're very excited. I mean, the opportunity to see, to, to travel there and to see these cities and to perform, I think they understand how special this is. This came about because the wonderful Russian ballerina Diana Vyshneva uh, contacted me and invited us to come to her festival, uh, the Context Festival. Uh, this is something she started five years ago in order to help the Russian public better understand contemporary dance. And she chose us. She could have invited anyone. So um, I'm really grateful because I think it's going to be an amazing experience for all of us. I felt this was a really good uh, overview of, of the kind of contemporary work that the National Ballet of Canada is doing right now. Uh, we were preparing uh, Guillaume Cote's Being in Nothingness for a revival in November anyway, so it seemed appropriate to, to take it with us and do it there. Um, and that's very contemporary work. Uh, Paz de la Hoya has been in our rep and we are doing it for Fall for Dance and that's immediately before Russia. So that seemed a very appropriate thing to do. And it, it is more balletic in terms of what the Russians might think of as ballet as opposed to being in nothingness and Crystal Pites Emergence, which we have just done in Hamburg to great acclaim and done it here in Toronto. Uh, so I felt that was a program that would really show uh, a whole bunch of facets of what the National Ballet of Canada is doing and what, what they are capable of doing. I love to think that art can transcend politics. Um, I just think it's a, a wonderful way to have the, uh, the arts be a, a diplomatic gesture. Uh, I hope it will expand our reputation and it will um, show us in the uh, light of the kind of works we are, the brave works we are presenting and, and uh, um, show the caliber of our artists, which are second to none, um, you know, presenting something uh, beautiful and astonishing to the Russian public, I think, is, is, the, is what we want to accomplish.